Hello everybody, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. I have my friend Rob Myers here from Agile Institute, agileinstitute.com, and he is a consultant, trainer, and coach that I've worked with for years that um, I really love working with. So uh, say hi to everybody, Rob. Hello everybody. So those of you who watched last episode, which I hope was most of you, know that what Rob was there last time. We're recording several videos tonight, um, and hopefully at the end of this one he'll be willing to talk more. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so we were trying to get this capital gains tax rate in right at the last minute. Oh, and I don't have a capital gains tax rate. I have a tax rate. Okay. You should have caught that. I mean, don't you know this code? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. By heart? Yeah, by, <laughs> by 15 minutes now. Um, so I expected that to work, and it did not. And that looks familiarly bad. Um, it looks like we reverted. No, no, th this is a test that we're not solving yet, the anti balance okay. test. This is the real test we're running. Capital gains tax, don't earn, oh, actually, looks like we do want capital gains. Say more, what? Oh, um, new stock market year. So, sorry, um, we calculate the interest earned over the year. Mm -hmm. But then we say if we withdraw, they don't earn interest. Basically, the withdrawals are assumed all to happen at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. Because, again, this is a pretty pessimistic model. I don't want to run out of money before I die. Right. Um, but And we're also saying that capital gains tax withdrawals don't earn interest either. Okay. But now in this new model, all withdrawals are capital gains, you know, pay capital gains tax. So I think we can just say withdrawals don't earn interest and... Um, include the capital gains tax in there. Does that make sense? You're giving me a funny look. I've got that funny look again. Yes. You have no idea what I'm talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, well, that's okay. Uh, I had a, <laughs> You're a nice kind of useless, though. Well, you know. <laughs> you're fun to talk to, though. Um, there you go. <laughs> so um, what I'm saying, so I know we're just sort of diving into the most complex piece of code or most domain complicated piece of code here. Right. Um, but it's kind of nice to see that you're so confused too because I've been confused for the last 35 episodes and I was feeling kind of dumb. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, the audience, I was getting comments on YouTube or on my blog saying stuff like, I want to scream at the screen telling you what to do. Got so, it. Um, so I feel better. Maybe we should record these in the morning. Yeah, when, when we can both be awake. Yes. Um, so... This new year creates a stock market year with some certain default parameters. Okay. Starting balance, starting principal interest rate, capital gains tax rate. They are 10,000, uh, 7,000, 10, and 25%. Okay. Oh, that makes, okay. Okay, so you had an epiphany. Yeah. Okay, explain, explain to everybody what your epiphany so was. So my epiphany from last time was that where, oh, I mean, this new epiphany. Oh, the new epiphany. No, I haven't had a new epiphany Oh, well, you yet. just said this made sense. So oh, thought... that makes sense because now I actually see that you have an interest rate on, on, the, uh, on, the, on the year, okay, and the capital gains tax rate for the year. That's right. You're and, wondering why there's an interest rate that varies by year? Uh, no, I okay. just didn't realize that you were passing that in in this uh, initiator here. Mm. Yeah. Well, okay. So now I know what new year looks like. Yeah, so the way this the way this method works that's failing, if I can show that, uh, it was used it used to be assumed that the you always drew down principal before you paid any capital gains tax. Mm -hmm. um, so I could withdraw eight hundred I could withdraw two thousand dollars, leave me with an ending balance of eight thousand, and I would earn eight hundred dollars on that. Mm -hmm. The way it works now is I withdraw two thousand. I have to pay capital gains tax on that, which means my ending balance is no longer eight thousand. Right. My ending balance is going to be whatever it is, and so I won't earn eight hundred. I'll earn some amount less than that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to earn, I think, is two thousand divided by 0 0.75. That's how much I'm withdrawing. So my ending balance is seven thousand three hundred thirty-three, which means I'm paying. I'm earning $733 in interest. And I think that's going to work. <laughs> okay, it finally did we can move on. <laughs> and before I was doing that calculation after I'd drawn down all the principal. Mm. 
but now that doesn't make sense, so right. I think I can get rid of that. Okay. Um, I really appreciate you you sitting here with me, Rob, and, and going through this stuff, but, you know, and just Seriously? sort of blindsiding you with this. <laughs> Maybe uh, by, you know, the fourth or fifth uh, recording, we'll actually have some. Have something to, to contribute. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, if, okay if nothing that. else, it's making me feel better. And also, I'm sure that because I've been sort of running through these explanations on the video in the same way I'm running through them with you, but without the benefit of people giving me funny looks like, Jim, you make no sense. Right. I'm sure that some people listening also appreciate understanding what's going on here. So knowing that I'm going through some pain maybe will make your viewers feel a little less like smashing their screens. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I thought they were saying they would want to smash the screens because I was being so slow, but maybe I'm just, you know, defensive. <laughs> So there's interest earned. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's move on. Do we have a full green bar yet? Oh my goodness, what was that? I still saw that. Oh yeah, write that down. Let's come back to that. We almost have a full green bar. It's any balance. I'm just going to solve this one since um, I think I know what it is and um, then we can do something else. Then we can do something fun and light. Yeah, so any balance includes interest. I don't, there's no fun and light here. The next thing that's got coming up is figuring out how to test the view layer. You want fun and light? I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I have some ideas on that. So here again, same thing. We're withdrawing a thousand. We've got, that means we're going to pay capital gains on it. A uh, thousand, by the way, five, which means it's really eight thousand six hundred sixty-seven. Yeah. Which means our interest earned is going to be eight sixty-seven. Uh, oh no, our ending balance, yeah, is eight six six seven. And we don't need this one. And I'm going to make that note. So I, I mean, if you're seeing any way to improve, uh, improve the clarity of this. I don't know. It'd probably take you more than 15 minutes of studying to. I think so. To figure that out, but okay, that failed. I'm not, I didn't expect that one to fail. Oh well, it's eight six six seven plus interest rate. Mm -hmm. So we've got the includes interest. And we didn't do that. In and, and interest. So it's eight six six seven plus eight six seven. Wait, did you? Oh, it was negative. Nine five three three. Did that make Boy, sense? that felt like creative accounting, but okay. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, but the test passed. So creative, successful accounting. As long as that works, it's good enough. Just ask Enron. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so... Oh, I, no. I am not responsible for any legal... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, everybody, uh, this is not financial advice. Uh, no. We are not financial experts. Robert, are you a financial expert? Not at all. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> that is... <laughs> Thank you, you to our sponsors. Code. Oh, commented code. Um, Which really disturbs me. Don't forget to speak up for the, the microphone. Commented code. <laughs> Deleted. Really, really disturbed. So this is just when I was struggling with getting this to work. So I can just delete all that. Yes. Okay. Um, now, look, I think the code here is actually pretty clean. Do you want to take a look through this real quick? Starting or, balance. It looks like a, a value object for the most part. It's not really a value object. I don't have any equals or or uh, hash code type of right, methods on okay. it. Okay. Capital gains withdrawn. Here, have the mouse. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, this is on next year. I see. Isn't that cool? That, that is sort of cool. that that sort of came out of doing the test. I started out just saying, "What what can I possibly test?" Well, let's just test the really basic, and I know I'm going to want to do it year by year. So there's this next year idea, which sort of came out of it. I never would have. I know that if you I test just for that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, but the test is quite simple because I'm just looking for the ending balance to go into the starting balance, right? And the ending principle and so forth. Okay. I yeah. do like that. Yeah. Nice and simple. Yeah, and um, let me let me just give you a quick little tour of this code. Um, The 
stock market class is nothing more than a collection of these years, which is obtained by calling next year on the first one over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And then I do have um, uh, well, remind me to remind me to uh, check this in to get at the end of each episode. Right. I always forget that. Um, I do have a UI on this. There it is. And that just has a model that takes the stock market and translates it into columns. Okay. So there we go. Do you want to check in the Git now, or do you do that? Uh, I do it at the off. end of each. I do it at the end of each episode okay. off so camera. Don't have to watch. Yeah. Also, um, I will try. I try to put source code at the end of each episode when I remember to check in. Okay. So yeah, which is not that frequent actually. Um, so that's pretty much done. I'm instead of keeping a note card like you are right now, mm -hmm. I keep this uh, so people can see what I'm writing. Okay. And. Um, I just have Git written down. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. So I've got a couple of notes here. I feel like I've kind of been steamrolling you, which is not great pair programming. Uh, and part of that's because I want the videos not to go really slowly and right. be interesting. Well, and that's what we did nine years ago, too. Was I just steamrolling you? Well, that's sort of my personality, but that's more bad because I'm not a very good pair programmer. No, actually, it's a nice way to learn. Oh, about is it? the code. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, watching you do stuff, and eventually people pick up on it. But yeah, it just takes a little while. Yeah, and then nine, you, so nine years ago, you mean when we first started, not later on. I hope. Never when mind. we first started, yes. When yeah. we first started, <laughs> like the first couple of days, maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I feel a little better now. I am kind of a keyboard hog. Um, all right. So. So I do have a couple of notes. Uh, fixed capital gains tax to work like spreadsheet. I believe I've done that. Um, I think we need to desk check that we've uh, fixed the capital gains to work like the okay. spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. By desk check, um, what I mean is have this do some withdrawals and compare it to the spreadsheet. Okay. So that would be an interesting thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, I also have just some sort of cleanup things that may not be the best use of your time while you're, or the time we have while you're here, which is um, the stock market year uses terms like withdraw and deposit. Mm -hmm. But those aren't really domain terms. Domain terms are buy and sell. Yeah. And um, I just have this little bit of cleanup here. So. Is there some new behavior that we can. Um, well, the next big thing to do is to polish the UI. And I don't know how to do that yet. I don't know how to test the view. Okay. Um, so. Wow, this is unscripted. Yeah, it's, it's complete. You idiot. <laughs> you don't have a clue, Jim. Well, congratulations, Rob. You've just figured out what, what everybody on the video already knows. Hey, so. everybody. How's it going? <laughs> oh, wait. We already started. Yes. Um, and no editing. So, yeah. Um, okay. All the fun stuff's been done. I'm here for the crap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> um, do be careful, though, if... Uh, I think if you don't click, touch that, if you click that, the microphone will pick it up, and that could get noisy. okay. Um, so, well, in order to do this, we have to modify the code to do withdrawals. So maybe we should do that. Yes, that could be interesting. That's like we have withdrawals in stock market year, we just call withdraw, but um, we don't have withdrawals in. Uh, We don't have withdrawals in our UI code, um, and we don't have them, and we particularly don't have them in stock market. There's no way to say withdraw a certain amount. So either we just sort of hard code it into stock market year and do the desk check that way, which isn't super fun, or we somehow put it into the UI, which might be fun. So hmm. um, I think that's what we'll have to pick up in the next episode. We're just about out of time here. Again? Again. It goes quick, doesn't it? A uh, quick thank you to Rob Myers, uh, my pairing partner, who is a principal you. consultant at Agile Institute, agileinstitute.com, on Twitter as Agile Coach. 
Uh, fantastic agile coach. I've known him for years. Really enjoy working with him. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. Thank you, Jim.